Hello, Mrs. Rolletter's kindergarten class. My name is Tim Fiscus. I'm Lily's dad, and I'm going to read you a story about kindness. This book is called Zen Ties by John J. Muth. Zen Ties by John J. Muth. Mom, there's a bear over there, said the little girl. A what? asked her mother. A big panda bear, said the girl. Wh what's he doing? See, there's the big panda bear right there. What's he doing, asked the little girl's mother. Well, he's sitting. Well, maybe he's waiting for someone, said her mother. Stillwater was waiting for someone. He was waiting for the arrival of his nephew, Koo. Uncle Stillwater, Summer, I have arrived. Seeing you brings smiles. And there's Koo. His nephew is the little panda. Stillwater is the big panda. Hi, Koo, said Stillwater. I brought you some welcome balloons. Ku took the balloons and bowed. An uplifting gift. Could you carry my case, generous uncle? Asked Ku. It's a short walk to the house, but there is a nice park on the way. Let's stop there and have some tea, said Stillwater. Stillwater, Ku, and the balloons all sat quietly in the park. Tea was very good. My cup holds emptiness now. Where shall I put it? asked Ku. Stillwater did not like to waste. We will use these cups every day while you are here, so we should save them. Suddenly, Stillwater burst out laughing. <laughs> that tickles, he said. Hi, Stillwater, said his friends Addie, Michael, and Carl. We were just coming to see you. Hello, said Stillwater. I would like you to meet my nephew, Koo. The children introduced themselves and everyone ran off to play. Addie invented a game called Jump on Stillwater. It was fun. Look at them playing that game of Jump on Stillwater. All of them climbing up on that big giant panda bear. Michael wanted to ask Stillwater a question. I'm going to a spelling bee, Michael said. What would you do if you were in a spelling bee? I would spell words, said Stillwater. Michael looked at his shoes. Well, what if you weren't sure of how good you were? I'm anxious about it. I feel like I'm going to mess up. Do your best. That is what you are supposed to do, said Stillwater. But it's hard to do my best when I'm nervous, said Michael. Stillwater nodded. Then he smiled. Ku and I have to visit Miss Whitaker this afternoon. I would like you, Carl, and Addie to come along. The Miss Whitaker who lives on our street? asked Addie. That Miss Whitaker? asked Carl. She hates us. She's really old and she spits when she talks. Every time we walk past her house, she shouts at us. She scares me. She's your friend? Michael asked. Stillwater looked at them. Yes. She isn't feeling very well. We must bring her something to eat. The children helped Stillwater prepare some soup. It smelled very good. Then they put it on a tray with some soft bread. And they walked quickly down the street. Stillwater said, Miss Whitaker is a good friend. You will see. Why on earth did you bring these children here? shouted Miss Whitaker. The children backed away. Hello, Mrs. Whitaker, said Stillwater. You look well today. We've brought you some soup. Carl looked at Miss Whitaker. She did not look well at all. She looked thin and she looked small, much smaller than she did when she stood on the porch yelling at them for throwing a ball in, their, in her yard. Stillwater helped Miss Whitaker to bed. 
and he offered her the soup. There's Miss Whitaker getting the soup from Stillwater. Then he asked Addie to sweep the floors, and he asked Michael to open the curtains and the blinds. Carl, hold the dustpan still, said Addie. Carl and Koo are very good at drawing pictures, said Stillwater. Mm, I can't see pictures anymore, said Miss Whitaker crossly. Carl and Koo drew several pictures together. When it was time to leave, Stillwater put them up around Miss Whitaker's bed. He told her they would come back tomorrow. Outside, the children said goodbye. Bye, said Carl. Bye, said Addie. See you tomorrow, said Stillwater. I don't know, said Michael. I should study for my spelling bee. You should come, said Stillwater. You should come early. And here's Miss Whitaker looking at the pictures that they drew for her. They drew her a picture of an apple. She's using a magnifying glass to look at it because she doesn't see very well. So she needs to use that to help her make the picture big enough to see. The next morning, Stillwater told Michael, Miss Whitaker used to teach English. She did, asked Michael. Then Stillwater said, Miss Whitaker, did you know Michael's going to be in a spelling bee? Well, said Miss Whitaker, I know something about that. Now listen, and here's Miss Whitaker talking to Michael and telling him about spelling bees. Now listen, just like plants, words have roots, Miss Whitaker said. A plant grows from its roots, and so do words. Roots of words can teach you to spell. And with that, Michael spent the morning with Miss Whitaker, studying for his spelling bee. The next day, Stillwater found Koo looking up at the apple tree in Miss Whitaker's front yard. Oh, hello, Stillwater, said a voice from up in the tree. Can you catch me? I was getting some apples for Miss Whitaker, said Carl. This morning, sunlight, gathering apples, and a boy, said Koo. After the spelling bee, Michael raced to Miss Whitaker's. I did it, said Michael. I made it all the way through to the end. Good, said Stillwater. So you were not too nervous? Oh, the judges were nothing compared to Miss Whitaker, said Michael. Yeah, said Carl. Just this morning she was shouting at us again. Then why are you smiling? asked Stillwater. She was telling us to get out of the street and play in her yard. On the last day of Koo's visit, Michael presented Miss Whitaker with the ribbon he got at the spelling bee. Carl gave her the apples that he had gathered. My mother taught me to make apple tea, said Miss Whitaker. I haven't made it for years. Now Addie and I have made some for you. And here's Miss Whitaker serving the apple tea to everybody. Koo and Stillwater and all the children. When it was time to say goodbye, Addie, Michael, and Carl gave Koo a big hug. Summer fading, new friends' faces lighten the way home, said Koo. At the train station, Stillwater looked over at Koo. There they are at the train station. You may throw away your cup now, said Stillwater. Koo shook his head. Nearing my visit's end, summer now tastes of apple tea. I will keep my cup, said Koo. The End That was Zen Ties by John J. Muth, a book about kindness.